No, no, no. These people are thinking. I love it. This is Keith Johnson uh, from NorCal. And Keith says, uh, can we think of a universal now based on the point of view of an observer? In other words, my now. Can we analyze a particular star in the night sky and determine its probable lifespan and then say that this particular star does not in all probability exist anymore in my now, its ghost is seen as a shadow of light arriving billions of light years after its demise. So what's the question in there? So I guess he's saying, is that the case? Like when we look up, are we seeing stuff that's we, not there? We see things not as they are, but as they once were. Mm. We're not worried if they're no longer there because that's not a real thing we can interact with. We're interacting with a light that is currently reaching us. And when that light was emitted, it was alive, whatever it was. Right. So so we're looking back in time, but we're looking at that time. At that so time. it doesn't make a difference. Because no, we're looking at that time. Correct, correct. It doesn't make a difference. Right. So might as well speak of it in the present. Right. The star exploded last night. No, it was 1,700 years ago. But what, what do you gain by that, right?